Yo, YouTube fam, how y'all doing? TM Nation, how y'all doing? It's your boy Tecmo here again, and I'm back with another review and unboxing. And it appears that I overlooked one pair of new Skull Candy earbuds, the Indie Fuels. And it's ultimately my fault because I didn't fully read the email, but if you look at this picture, you see three pair of new earbuds. So I went to Skull Candy's website, I saw the Push Ultras, the Indie Evos, and the Sesh Evos. Scrolling through the website, I did not notice the Indie Fuels at all. And I didn't see the Indie Fuels anywhere else because it doesn't seem like they're being sold anywhere but Skull Candy. But needless to say, I wanted to make it right for you guys. I picked up a pair. Y'all have been going crazy with the support and I really appreciate it. So this video is for anybody that's curious about these. Although mostly everything is the same between the Indie Fuels and the Indie Evos, there are some differences. The Indie Fuels are gonna cost you 20 more bucks than the Indie Evos at 99 bucks. The Indie Fuel case does support wireless charging. The Evo case does not. The Indie Fuel earbuds are usable with the Skull Candy and Tile apps. On the other hand, the Indie Evo case is only usable with the Tile app. But of course, I'll go over more of the differences a little bit later. Let me bust the box open for you so you know what you get. So inside of the box, you get everything you would need to get the earbuds up and running. You get your user manual and other documentation. You get a couple pair of ear tips and an extra pair of ear fins. Followed by that, you get a USB type C charging cable to charge the case and your earbuds and the case, of course. Now for the Indie Fuels, as you can see, I picked up the chill gray version. I went ahead and did this just because I have the Indie Evos in the black color. At first, I wasn't sure that I would like the chill gray version, but it has grown on me. One thing to note is it doesn't look like you can get the pure mint colorway in the Indie Fuels. So if that's a color that you like, you're gonna have to stick to the Indie Evos. As for the charging case, it's made out of plastic and the design is nice. The only real changes that I see in between the Indie Evo case and the Indie Fuel case are the gray accent stripes. On the black version of the Indie Evos, you do have the gray accent stripe, but it's not there on the black version of the Fuel case. And on the chill gray version, the stripe is not there on the Evo case, but it is there on the Fuel case. It also looks like the Skull Candy logos are different colors on the chill gray versions. Other than that, you still do have your Skull Candy branding on the front of the case and the USB type C charging port on the bottom. On the fuel case, you still do have your LED lights, so you always know how much charge is left on the case. For charging, like I said earlier, the fuels do support wireless charging, which is a nice feature and one that I use all of the time. And I did make a mistake in my Indie Evo video. I did not say that the Push Ultras support wireless charging. So let me correct that here. Of all of the new Skull Candy earbuds, the Push Ultras and the Indie Fuels support wireless charging. Just so we're clear, both the Sesh Evos and the Indie Evos do not support wireless charging. Battery life with the case is the same for both the Indie Fuels and the Indie Evos. You can expect to charge the earbuds about an additional four times once they go dead. And in total, you can expect to get about 24 hours out of the case before you have to charge it. Now moving on to the earbuds, the Indie Evos and the Indie Fuels look identical. But like I've said, I like the design of the Indies in general. I don't mind that they didn't change it much. I really just think that the stems are the perfect size and they're very easy to put in and take out of your ears. I really like how the ear fins feel in the ears and they do a great job of keeping them in place. A nice feature that you'll get with both the Fuels and the Indie Evos is you can use either earbud in mono mode. So if you're listening to both earbuds and you decide to take one out and put it back into the case, you won't have to worry, the other will continue playing. The Indie Fuels do have built-in mics for voice calls. I think that the call quality is relatively clear. I couldn't tell a difference in between the two but let's take a listen. All right, guys, so as you can see, I have the Indie Fuels in my ears and they're paired to my Galaxy S10. This is completely unedited audio, so this should give you an idea of how you'll sound if you use these for voice calls. And now I have the Indie Evos paired to my Galaxy S10. I'm pretty sure there won't be a difference, but this is just so you guys have the comparison. When it's time to charge the earbuds, it can get a little tricky 
to get them in the case. You'll get it with a little bit of practice, but the first couple of times, getting the stems in there is fine, but you'll have to line up the earbuds. Again, it's not a big deal. Once you do it a couple of times, you'll get the hang of it. Now moving on to the controls, the Indie Fuels use the exact same controls as the Indie Evos. You have one touch control area on each earbud, and that's basically where you see the Skull Candy logo. The controls are pretty straightforward, and so far, they've been pretty accurate. And you have full playback controls, so you can adjust your volume, track forward and track back, hang up calls, pick up calls, pretty much anything you would need to do. Now it can get a little bit clunky doing all of these functions from a long tap, double tap, and a single tap. But for the most part, like I said, they've been pretty accurate and I think that they pick up your feedback pretty well. Like I mentioned earlier, the Indie Fuels are compatible with the Skull Candy app and the Tile app. And like I've been saying, the Skull Candy app right now is not that functional. You really can't do much. With the Fuels, at least you can turn on and turn off the ambient feature in the app. But other than that, there's really not that much for you to do. The Tile app, on the other hand, is a nice feature and it'll help you keep track of your earbuds. I like the Tile app because it's really simple to pair with your earbuds. It's also really simple to use when you wanna find your earbuds. You just tap on find and they'll go to work. The earbuds will let out a chime that gets lower as you get closer to them. And when you find the earbuds, you simply click on that in the app and you're all set. The Indie Fuel earbuds also come with the three different EQ modes. Out of the box, you get music mode, podcast mode, and movies mode. And as for the battery life with the Fuels, it's exactly the same as you'll get with the Evos. You can expect to get about six hours on a single charge, but they also do have quick charging. So with both pair, you can charge them for about 10 minutes and get two hours worth of usage. As for the fit in my ears, they fit fine, no complaints. The new ear fins keep the earbuds in place really well. I did exercise with my Indie Evos, and even when I became sweaty, they stayed in place. If you're thinking about buying these for exercise, you should not hesitate because they fit great. They're pretty lightweight and they're not overly large, just overall, they're comfortable earbuds. Now they're not the smallest earbuds though, they do take up a lot of space in your ears. They give you a good amount of passive noise canceling, and the way that they fit into the ears pushes most of the sound down into them. Like most earbuds, they do leak some sound, but it's not that bad. Let's take a listen. Now the water resistance in between the fuels and the Evos is IP55. You should avoid submerging them into water, but splashes of water or sweat will not harm them. I did submerge them into water for about a minute just to test it out. When I took them out, they still worked without an issue. Let's take a listen. All right, so last but not least, let me talk about the audio quality, and this is gonna be short and sweet. The audio quality in between the Fuels and the Evos is exactly the same. I put one Evo earbud in my left ear and one Fuel earbud in my right ear, and I couldn't tell the difference. Like I said in the Evo video, I do not like the podcast mode or the music mode, but in the movies mode, this is where you're gonna get the best sound and where they sound the most balanced. In the movies mode, your highs and mids are crisp and clear and you get that nice punchy bass. Overall, in the movies mode, the sound is respectable and I don't think you'll be disappointed. All right guys, so taking everything into consideration, the Indie Fuels are solid. Not taking anything away from them, they did add the wireless charging and the usability with the app. But in my opinion, those two features alone are not worth 
an extra 20 bucks. At $99, the Fuels are in company with earbuds that sound much better. In my opinion, the Evos are already a stretch at 79 bucks. If I didn't need to do a video on these earbuds, I would have been okay with the Evos. I mean, the wireless charging is nice but it's not worth it. Now, one thing that I'm gonna keep saying about these Indies is that they fit great. In terms of fit, these are both in my top five, but sound quality wise, they're not quite there. I mean, you have to admit, Anchor Soundcore, TrebLab, and Soundpeats provide you a lot of bang for your buck. And with those companies, there are three or four pair of earbuds I'll recommend over these any day. But my suggestion is, wait a little bit, see if they go on sale, another 15 or 10 bucks off makes these a lot more attractive. But if you just can't wait and you don't mind the price, they are solid, go ahead and pick up a pair. But that's it for this video, guys. I appreciate you coming through and watching the video. I appreciate all of the support. It definitely helps the channel. And if you have any questions, as always, leave them in the comments section. I'll try to get you an answer. But until next time, like I always say, y'all be safe, y'all stay positive, and most importantly, have a great day. I'll catch y'all in the next one. It's your boy Tech Mo, and I'm out. Peace. If you rock with the channel and your boy Tech Mo, hit that subscribe button and knock that notification bell out so you don't miss any of my uploads. Welcome to TM Nation. Peace.